<laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy Pizzetti, and I'm here to tell you the story of the Little Red Hen. One day, the Little Red Hen was walking down the lane next to the farm when she saw on the ground some wheat. She reached down and picked it up and said, oh, I better go back to the farm. When she got there, she said, who will help me plant the wheat? But the cat said, not I. And the dog said, not I. And the pig said, no, not I. Well, 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 I'll do it myself, she said. And she did. She took her little claws and she dug a hole and she dug and she dug and she dug, dug, dug. And then she put that weed in the ground and she covered it up with dirt. And the rain fell and the sun shone and before long, poof, up popped a little green leaf. And that wheat grew and it grew and it grew, grew, grew. And it grew and it grew and it grew, grew, grew. Till finally it was ready. And the little red hen said, who will help me cut the wheat? And the cat said, not I. And the dog said, not I. And the pig said, no, not I. Well, 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 I'll do it myself. And she did. She cut and she cut and she cut, cut, cut. And she cut and she cut and she cut, cut, cut. Ah, soon that wheat was laying out on the ground ready to go. Who will help me take it to the mill? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. No, not I, said the pig. Well, 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 I'll do it myself. And she did. She scooped up all that wheat, put it on her little red wagon, walked it down to the mill where they ground it into a nice flour, and put it in a bag, put it back in her wagon, and back she came to the farm. Who will help me bake the bread, she said. Not I, said the cat. But not I, said the dog. No, not I, said the pig. Well, 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 I'll do it myself. And she did. She took out a nice big bowl. She put in some of that wheat, some milk and eggs and other good things, and she stirred it around. And then it was time to knead the dough. So she squeezed, and she squeezed, and she squeezed, 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 and she squeezed, and she squeezed, and she squeezed, squeezed, squeezed. Finally, that bread was ready to rise. And she watched, and it rose, and it rose, and it rose, rose, rose. Finally, she popped it in the oven, and then went about doing some other work before long. The smell of that baking bread filled the whole house. It was wonderful. And that smell went all the way down to the cat's house, all the way down to the dog's house, and all the way to the pig's house. And they came running. Finally, the bread was ready to go. She took it out of the oven, and there was a big, beautiful loaf of bread. And she said, who will help me eat the bread? I will, I will, I will, said the cat. Oh, I will, I will, I will, said the dog. I will, said the pig. I will, I will, I will. And she said, no, you won't. I'll do it myself. And she did. She munched and she munched and she munched, munched, munched. And she munched and she munched and she munched, munched, munched until every crumb of that bread was gone. <clears throat> that was delicious. Well, next time that cat and that dog and that pig heard somebody say, who will help me? They said, we will, we will, we will. Ah, <sighs> well, 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 I did it again. That is the story of the little red hen.